Hello, it's Rick Stebbins with The Vertical Method, working with Katrin at CrossFit New England. Let's take a look at her lift in real time, and we're going to break it down with some slow motion afterwards. Nice lift, nice start position. Let's take a quick look now at some of the different points that we like to break down. Taking it off the floor, she has a very nice lumbar neutral arch, pushes down using her legs. A little bit of a butt head there, rising her butt a little bit sooner and allowing her to be a little bit flat with her trunk angle as she comes up to the end of that first pull. She also has a tendency to want to tuck the bar in maybe just a little too much. If you can really see here how her shoulders are significantly farther in front of the bar at that point in the lift. We'd probably like to see the shoulders be a little bit more up over the bar. I like to teach that the bar actually follows the shoulders. So at this point, I'd like to see her be a little bit more upright. As we move into that second pull, you can see as a result of her shoulders being out so far in front of her center of gravity, her hips are coming into the bar, which then makes the bar bump significantly away from her body. So you can see how those hips coming from way behind, through the lift, into the bar. I call this the seesaw effect, where her upper body goes from over the bar to behind the center of gravity in a seesaw fa fashion, which actually allows a lot of energy to be lost in a front-to-back direction instead of putting energy vertically into the bar. And then because that bar is so far out in front, she has to jump forward in order to make that lift to get the bar back up over her center of gravity. I'm going to show you a few drills and some exercises that we're, going to, we're using with Katrin to help work on this particular problem. Okay, as you can see with Katrin's slow motion video, she had a tendency to keep her shoulders way out in front of the bar as she was getting into that second pull position. What I want to show you is a drill that we're going to use to help correct that problem so that we can help keep that bar closer to the center of gravity. The drill that I'd like to have you work on if, if you notice that this is a problem is starting from the below knee position and making sure that they hit exactly the right spot. You've got to have the bar at the below knee position correctly. We're going to then transition to the pocket, pause, and then from there we'll do a complex of either a high pull, a muscle snatch, or a regular snatch. So this is what the drill will look like. Start from the pocket, we unhinge down to the below knee position. We bring the bar up, pause, do a snatch. Again, below knee position. Pause, high pull. Pause, muscle snatch. And then we go into a snatch. 